Hello friends, welcome back. Today we will discuss about metamorphosis. Metamorphosis in class arthropods. Virtually all the insects undergo this process of metamorphosis which we can define as the change with the insect undergoes um, through the various instars. Change with the insect undergoes through the various instars. Instar is the um, time period between the two molds. And on the basis of this we can classify insects uh, and group the insects into various groups. We will discuss more on it in the next coming slides. So on the basis of metamorphosis we can classify insects into two groups as a simple or incomplete metamorphosis. Then we have complete metamorphosis. Complete metamorphosis. In a simple or incomplete metamorphosis, uh, the, the immature stage is called nymph. And the main characteristics of nymph is it is similar to the adult. It is similar to adult. And it has instead of wings, it has wing pads wing pads. The only difference with this is, um, it is uh, asexually immature and looks similar to the adults. So the nymph is a stage which is found in this incomplete or simple type of metamorphosis. We can divide on the base of uh, the metamorphosis. We can divide into amebotolus, hemimetabolus, and pyrometabolus. pyrometabolus. So th these are three types of division we can do on the basis of uh, uh, different characteristics in a incomplete or simple metamorphosis. The first one in this category is ametabolus. This is the most primitive uh, hexapods have this type of uh, metabolus. And these primitive exoboros don't uh, do not process wings, so no wings are present in the adult form. And the adult and the nymph only differs in the size and the ability to lay eggs. To lay eggs. These are the only two major difference in the. I am a metabolous uh, type of uh, incomplete metamorphosis. The second type we can describe as hemimetabolus. This is first type. Second type hemi, this is incomplete metabolisis, metamorphosis type. And this is found in the insects where the nymph form is aquatic. Aquatic. So it is found in water and it's called as NIADS, N I A N A I A D S NIADS. So these are having an aquatic uh, name and they have the presence of gills. So this is very different from the adult form. Adult form is not aquatic and uh, this uh, name form is aquatic. That's the major difference this hemimotopolis type of uh, metamorphosis insects have. The third type is pyrometabolus type. Here the nymph is very much similar to adult and uh, it is uh, the only difference is there is a presence of pads instead of wings. So that is the only difference in this time. This is also called gradual metamorphosis. Gradual metamorphosis. So these are the three types of incomplete metamorphosis which we see in the export. Now we will discuss about the uh, various examples or uh, description in the form of uh, uh, diagrammatic description of this. Now if you see the metamorphosis, incomplete metamorphosis in diagrammatic form. You see the egg, they have three three stages are there, egg, then you have nymph stage, then you have adult stage. So the stages in between the molds are called the instar. So we have after the laying of egg, we have 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 in stars are seen. In the other picture, we will find much more difference, much more clarity is seen. So, X stage, the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth in star. Then we have a short wing stage, which is uh, the insect is having a short wing. This is an example of hairy clinch uh, bug. The example of hairy Pinch bug. So this having short wings. So this stage we can also uh, we also call is brachypterous stage. B R Y brachy T E R O U S. And after that the normal winged the wings become bigger in a form adult form. This we call as Macropterous stage. Macropterous stage. So there are two stages in this type of incomplete uh, uh, metamorphosis, and we have seen all the instars here. This is Harry Clinch bug example. The other major type of uh, metamorphosis is called complete metamorphosis. This is a uh, stage where the immature form uh, is quite different from the mature form. They have a transformation from lava, the immature form is called lava, then we have pupa and third stage adult stage. So the immature form, the lava stage is different, the pupa stage is not moving much stage, that means that's uh, crescent stage. Crescent stage. The pupa is not moving and it is transformed into adult. The eating habit of lava and the mouth parts of lava might be and may be different from the adult part. Most it is of biting and chewing type. Biting and chewing mouth parts. And eating habits are quite different from the adult. Then it is transformed to the pupa stage which is a stagnant stage and it has the appearance similar to that of adult and the exoskeleton which is covered on the pupa is converted into wings the exoskeleton gets converted to wings in the form adult form and after some time it is transformed to adult stage so these forms are complete metamorphosis in the insect system this complete metamorphosis can be divided into holometabolus and hypermetabolus. Holometabolus is the complete metamorphosis circle, lava, pupa and adult stage. The hypermetabolus are insects which uh, acts like a parasite in other hosts. Insects which acts like a parasites and they have mouth parts or mandibles which are uh, elongated mandibles, elongated mandibles which pierce into the body of the uh, host and um, uh, consumes the uh, foodings there. So, uh, and the lava has different stages. Lava stage changes to different stage. One of the stages is the grub stage. Uh, where the uh, limbs are not formed and only the uh, the mouth parts are formed then they they um, enter into the host and to uh, consume the food available there so the complete metamorphosis can be divided into holometabolus and hypermetabolus type here we can see in this diagrammatic picture where after the x stage we have first second, third, these are the larval stage, we have lava stage and then you have a pupa stage, pupa is a crescent stage where in mobile stage and from there the exoskeleton is developed into wings and you have this complete adult stage. So this is a diagrammatic picture of complete metamorphosis. So here in the case of real picture you can see this is an example of uh, the beetle
where we have one, two, three larval stage, larval stage three instars, and then we have pupa stage and the adult stage of the beetle. In some uh, insects, we have only uh, say five larval instars a stage is there. For the example of uh, blue grass weevil, blue grass weevil, we have. Five larval instars. In case of a beetle, we have three instars. So that way, this is a complete metamorphosis uh, of a beetle. So we have studied uh, the details about incomplete metamorphosis and complete metamorphosis. In the next session, we'll study uh, more about insects and various orders which comes under. Thank you.